I got into the field of microbiome by accident. I came out of neuroscience after 10 years, really, really being quite arrogant and quite confident that everything with brain and mental health is about the brain. And it was very humbling as I'm starting to learn, the research is coming out that actually it's much more about the gut. So that's how I got into it, by complete accident. I was in academics and then I moved into science communication and created a science communication firm nine, nine years ago to get, to get this knowledge from the researchers in an accurate way out to real people. Can you tell, tell us a little bit about what do you think is the, like the key topics now in microbiome gut brain? Mm -hmm. Well, for me, some of the areas that we're working on from a science communication perspective that companies are bringing us and engaging us for include the developmental stuff and the psychobiotic stuff. Is there enough evidence or what do we know so far about microbiome and brain and mental health conditions? Those are some areas that we're working in. Can you tell us a little bit about the challenges in, in science communication? Ooh, there are so many challenges. I'm almost a decade into this business and well, the, the biggest challenge was the first few years people didn't think there was not even a field of science communication. They said, oh, this is a nice hobby. And I said, I hope it's not a hobby. I left a career in academics, so I hope this is a business. So that was the first challenge is it didn't exist. As a, as a proper, respectable job 10 years ago. Now it does exist and it's a real job, but some of the issues I see now are different industries that I work with are not talking to one another. And even within our field, let's say a scientist is not talking to his or her colleague. So even within industries, and I'm not just talking about academics, it's healthcare, I see it too with clinicians, I see it in business and in industry, I see it, we work with hospitality. In all these different sectors, people are not talking. So that's, that's what we're going to be addressing today. Can you tell us a little bit more about what Absolutely. your plans are? Absolutely. So because communication is the most important thing, I think, in any relationship, including that between the gut and the brain, we're going to start by getting people together to jam and to discuss the top hurdles and people have written in and given me ideas of what their biggest challenges with regards to knowledge translation in their own industry. I've summarized the challenges from the participants into six key concepts that we're going to be breaking into groups for discussing. Then we're going to have a panel where people from the audience can come and offer solutions or offer advice or just keep the conversation going and at the end each of us is going to write a little pledge of one thing we're going to go home from this meeting with that we're going to change to more effective translate knowledge in our own industry, in our own lives. And, and the challenges that were shared from, from the participants, can you, can you tell us a little bit about sure. what, what did sure. you Sure, so there was quite an overlap, so it was really interesting. I saw a few key themes emerging, including there isn't, there isn't funding for a lot of this translational work. People don't feel supported financially um, to, to go into knowledge translational work and creation of um, bench to bedside programs, so that was one key area. Um, the whole idea, a few people, a few respondents really um, commented on the whole, you know, germ-free, cleaner is better. That's a problem because that's not true. We need germs, right? And that's one of the things that I love that this meeting is really bringing to light with these speakers. We need these germs for, for health and mental health. So that was another key area that came. Um, there's just, yeah, so those were two of the, the big ones that we'll be, we'll be discussing and then four more. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you for having me.